Hi guys and welcome to my channel. We're going to be watching The Foster Season 1 Episode 12. This is called House and Home. So if you guys would like to follow me on Twitter or you guys would like to get early access to my reactions or would like to watch the full reactions that are over on my Patreon, the links for that are down below. Let's get into this episode. I want them to adopt my little brother. Kelly doesn't want us to be there. Unless you don't want her anymore. Of course we want her. It is not a question of whether we want Kelly. It is... I know she wants them. She wants us. Uh, is there something you want to share with us? Something you know that we don't? She ran away because I kissed her. Do you have any idea what you've done? I didn't expect this to happen. Well, what did you expect? Right, Take no. a second. Did you expect that, that we were going to adopt her and the two of you would date? I don't know. Did Callie run away because she didn't feel safe? No. No, no. no. Jude saw us, okay, and he freaked out, and he said that you guys wouldn't adopt them. That's why she left, so she wouldn't screw things up for him. CPS found out they could take Kelly and Jude out of this house. You knew that, Brandon. I warned you. I'm sorry. Well, sorry okay. doesn't hack it. Can't help how I feel. I want you to know that this does not change anything. It does not change how much we love you and want to adopt you, okay? Well, what about Kelly? We're not giving up on either one of you. Your Honor... Callie's foster moms are present in the court and would like to speak on her behalf. Your Honor, in the time that Callie has been with my wife and me and our other three children, we saw her make great strides. She opened up to us emotionally. She did well in school. She followed our rules. And we feel that she has come to trust us as we have her. She brought a great deal of love and joy into our family. And we just, we feel she deserves a second chance. However, we are not prepared to bring her back into our home at this time. And you, like, remembered me? You made an impression. So if you're interested, we're having a meeting after school. It'd be cool to see you there. Can't complain. I'm so sorry, Talia. I should have never gotten back with you. Then why did you? I don't know. I really care about you. Honestly, this time. Is it because of Callie? Yes, it's Callie. She's just going to hurt you. You... You don't know... I don't. ...everything. Uh, except me. I'm the lying designer, which is kind of a big deal. So He's talking to you. Pay attention to him. Oh, but I'm 15. Uh, I'm Zach, by the way. Mariana. But one of the most important is costumes. Otherwise, we're gonna be like on stage naked. Mariana and Kelsey. I have an idea. Um, it's a big job, so why don't the two of you work together? Once you're in a group home, you're considered like high risk. She told me no one will ever want her again. We still want her. Well, that's not what she's gonna think. She's going to think you're giving up on her, like you're throwing her to the wolves. Well, we hope that eventually she'll see we're doing this because we don't want to give up on her. And because we love her. Get over each other? Well, that's not going to happen, okay? We're in love. And in keeping us apart, it's not going to change that. I don't think he's helping this case. <laughs> I'll show you to your room after you meet all the girls. There are seven girls who live here full time. Why are there no bars or security gates? How do you lock us in? We don't. We trust that you won't leave the premises. But if you violate that trust, then you go back to juvie. Or oh, shoot, that's that girl that beat her up, isn't it? You know, possessing and selling drugs, assault the deadly weapon. But that was, like, not my fault. Anyway. <laughs> um, I'm Becca. I'm 16. Oh, and I've been here two months. <laughs> and I'm always interrupting. Yes, you are. Daphne, 17, and for gangs, drugs, armed robbery, and assault. Oh, and just so you know, Kelly, we have a zero tolerance policy for violence. If you put your hands on anyone else, you'll be asked to leave, no exceptions, all right? I ran away. I stole a sandwich. I don't belong here. Oh. You okay, babe? What's wrong with him? What's wrong, baby? Hey, sis. Hey, sis. Something's What's wrong. What is going on? Mariana, go, go get Lena. So Dr. Levinson thinks it was just a short-term side effect from upping his meds. Other stimulants, right? In kids with ADHD, it actually helps them to, to calm down and to focus. I can get off of it, don't I get a say? 
What about getting into a contact sport? I mean, it helped me. I don't like wrestling. No way. I I'm not groping dudes. <laughs> it's not groping. <laughs> it's using strategic moves to take down your opponent. Can I at least try it? Lena? I don't see why not. Okay. At least try. Okay. Cut the newbie a break, Nicole. It's not my name. Really? Because that's what it says on your birth certificate. But then it also says you're a girl. I'm a transgender male. Look it up, bitch. Ooh, who's getting a UA now? Why do you know me, right? Yeah. I know you. I want to take another crack at my face. Look, I'll put hands on you and Juvie. I'm sorry about that. You are real good here. Got my privileges, and if I keep tight, I'll be out in two weeks. We straight? No, we're not straight. What's a UA? It's unacceptable for, like, not doing your jobs or getting into it with the other girls. If you get five, you get a consequence, like an extra job. But it's better than other homes I've been in. Like this one, I broke this girl's nose. I mean, like, I didn't mean to. She was on the ground, I was kicking her. But, like, the staff <laughs> didn't even care. At least here, they care about you. I, how do I get my privileges? The girls in the house vote on that. She's gonna steal, isn't she? Oh, she better not stick anything in her bag and make her be the thief. I need to check your bags. Just the shopping bags and receipts. Uh, no, I'm 50 and for drugs, not too much, you know. Uh, when I was young, I smoked a little weed and for like half a second, I did some speed, but that's for, yeah. for real. That's for real. One day, I just decided that doing drugs wasn't going to get me where I wanted to go, so I quit. Now, listen, not everybody can do that. You ain't no addict. I am an addict. I'm addicted to food. You know, everyone is addicted to something. Please. I am a boy, and you know what? I belong in an LGBT home where And I, I told you, I am working on that, okay? Why did you run away from your foster home? I guess my foster brother. Oh, snap. You want your privileges so you could see your boyfriend? No, I need to see my little brother. He needs to know why I left. I'm gonna get to see her? Yes, sir. Can we all come? You know, I think it best if uh, two doesn't have to share Callie just yet, okay? Uh, she's gonna find that hat, isn't she? You just... Turn on the waterworks and you think you've got us all fooled. Well, not me. You know what I think you are? A selfish bitch. Yeah, well, fortunately, I don't care about the opinions of a drug addict. Why is she attacking her for? And I'm talking about Becca attacking Callie. Um, sorry. Get out! Get out! slipped on some water and fell back into the shower door. Wow. That was a pretty hard fall. <laughs> Girls, anybody see anything? Kelly, you know, we do have a solution when two girls don't get along here in this house. We make them roommates. I knew that was coming. Oh no, did the privilege get taken away? It would seem that Kelly has lost her privileges. So she's not allowed to have visitors today some kind of an altercation with another girl last night and Rita thinks that Callie just needs a little more time to think about why she's there. Gotten me arrested for shoplifting. Yeah, but I didn't and now we have an awesome hat for Chase. Okay, we're not keeping it. You snuck it out, you sneak it back in. Whoa, is that for me? Yeah, it is. Sweet. Anna, you're a genius. Let's pop the shoes out for me, okay? Circle up, everybody. This is Jesus. We are going to teach Jesus about a basic breakdown. That is a move that takes your opponent off his or her base, drops him straight to the map, okay? He's about to kick his ass. Ready? <laughs> is she going to be a new love interest now that Lexi's gone? You don't get to just act out and then run away from the consequences. Not in this house. In fact, not anywhere in life. The sooner you learn that, the better off you're going to be.
Oh god, what's the consequence for this gonna be? Okay guys, so that was the end of episode 12 of season 1 of The Fosters, and this one we saw Callie back in Juvie, and um, when she went to court, Steph and Lena showed up and talked for her. And said that, you know, all this great stuff about her. And then at the end, they're like, but we don't think it's a good idea for her to come back into our home right now. So they were able to convince the judge to send Callie to a group home so she didn't have to be in juvie. And Callie's not loving group home. And uh, she's actually sharing the home with the girl who beat her up in episode one when she was just about to get out of juvie. <laughs> So, but this girl did apologize to her and um, wanted to make sure that they were okay because, you know, she's doing really good there and she's about to get out. And uh, Callie pretty much told her to screw off. <laughs> so, Callie, Callie's having a, a tough time of it. Um, she doesn't want to forgive. She doesn't want to... I don't know. She just... She doesn't like it there. And... Not that I can blame her, you know, I'm sure she misses everybody, but, you know, she kind of did this to herself, and this is the consequence of that, and, um, uh, the girls, I'm not sure about them, um, most of, like, her first roommate seems okay, I don't remember their names, I didn't write anybody's names, I don't even remember the uh, head lady's name, um, one played by Rosie O'Donnell. I don't remember her character name either. But um, I don't really like Becca. She like came in there and attacked Callie for no reason. I don't understand why she just came out and um, said what she said to her. And then um, Cole... He's got issues, obviously. Um, he wants to be in a different kind of group home. I think they all could be friends if they just stop being mean to each other. I mean, Cole, I think that he is being judgmental of the other girl because he doesn't think he needs to be in a home with other girls because he's not a girl. He's a boy. And, um, so I think he just feels out of place. And so he's just taking out all his anger and aggression on, on all of them. And Becca is no better. I mean, she's attacking Cole and she attacks Callie. And I don't know how she is with the other girls. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Becca, I think, needs help. She just really wants her drugs, it seems. And so she just, all her aggression and anger taken out on anybody who's around. And I'm sure they're all like that. It's like, if anybody doesn't belong there, I don't think Callie belongs there. Like she said, everybody there seems to have been put there because of drugs. Um, and Callie hasn't done that. And so it's, I don't know. I, I think the, the home is nice, I guess, um, compared to where she could be living in. Like, there's no bars on the windows or the doors, and um, they, tr they, they trust them to do the right thing and not run off. Uh, so I think that's, that's nice. And I do like Rosie O'Donnell's character. I think she had a point when um, she was talking to Callie. And Callie's just not ready to hear it yet, I don't think. But hopefully that will change, but... Considering how the episode ended, I'm not sure what the consequence is going to be because she was not supposed to see anybody. And Brandon showed up and she ran to him and they were hugging. And I think she really needed that. I think she really needed that from Brandon. And uh, But that's against the rules. And so I don't know what the consequence is going to be for that. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll find out. I think I'm going to watch the next episode. It's like. 20 after 12, so I think I'm going to sneak another episode in. Um, but I I enjoyed this episode. Um, oh. There was also, I was like, 
totally forgot about the other stuff. I was like all focused on the group home. I forgot about the other things that happened. Uh, Brandon broke up with Talia again. And this time he actually gave her the reason being Callie. And so, yeah, he hurt her. But I think he did the right thing breaking up with her. Um, then you have Jesus who is... Uh, he he wants to get off his medication, um, so they're trying putting him in a contact sport to get out all his his aggression and and everything out, and hopefully that will be a good replacement for his medication. I don't know, we'll have to see, but so he's doing um trying out wrestling, so we'll see how that goes for him. And there's a girl in the wrestling thing. I think that's gonna be a thing. I think they're gonna. Um, be a love interest for each other, even though he told Lexi to wait, and Lexi told him not to wait, so I don't know. We'll see. Um, also, Mariana, she is doing the uh, doing a play at school. She was recruited by some senior boy who she has this big old crush on. I think the other guy there, I can't remember his name, I think was Zach, and um. I think that she, he could be an interest for Mariana, um, but she was kind of not having anything to do with him. She was like all eyes on the senior boy. I don't remember his name. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But her friend, Kelsey, stole and she used Mariana to do it without her knowledge. Um, but... Even though Mariana was mad and confronted her at first, when the boy saw the hat, she took credit for it. So, I mean, she's not 100% innocent because she could have returned it um, and been honest, but that's not the case. So, I don't know. I think there's going to be a rivalry between Kelsey and Mariana, and it's not going to turn out well, I think. And I'm pretty sure he's not interested in either one of them. He's probably got an interest elsewhere, and they just don't know it yet. So, but anyway, as I was saying, I enjoyed this episode. If you guys enjoyed this reaction, please give this video a like. If you have any suggestions on anything you would like me to react to, please uh, leave that down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.